Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoilery gush for The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemisin. As I said, this video will have spoilers in it, so if you have read this book, go ahead and check out my spoiler free review, which will be linked on the screen. So like I said in my review, I felt like this book was so much easier to get into and read because we already had the foundation of the fifth season, and the fifth season just took a little bit longer to get into, but I loved all the revelations we got in here. I'm so glad it didn't get drawn out too far because I feel like some series are just like, we're gonna wait until the very end to reveal everything, and it's really annoying. And with this book, you actually had things being revealed. You know that there's all these different factions of people, the Stone Eaters, Evil Earth, you know, like Father Earth is kind of bad and all that kind of stuff. And is that like a real being or not? And you can't really decide because the characters can't really decide. And the Guardians versus the Orogenes and just all of these things that you weren't really clear on in the first book, you really find out a ton more about in this book and the Stone Eaters and everything. So I was very excited to learn all of those things and I feel like it all came together really, really well. Also the characters I just love. I mentioned in my review that I do feel at a distance at some point because I do feel like I can't get fully connected when I know that bad things are going to happen to them. Like Asuna has a horrible life and I just like can't, like I love her, but when bad things happen, like when Alabaster died, I wasn't like devastated in the way that I feel like I should have been because I've been keeping myself at arm's length from the characters even though I love them and I want them to succeed and I pull for them and everything it's not the same kind of emotional attachment because I just like I've known from the beginning that bad horrible things are gonna happen to them so I don't let myself get too attached so that I get broken hearted but I really liked having the dual perspective of her and her daughter and her daughter kind of being formed into this different kind of person this more ruthless person this person who might be at odds with her like I love how this whole series pretty much revolves around female characters and being in charge, being badass, like, and as soon being just like this warrior goddess. Like, I just love her. I mean, I just love how now that we've kind of gotten past the first book and this like kind of segmented into three parts person revelation that you have at the end of the fifth season, you really have her you, getting to like explore all the things she's gone through as like a complete human being, right? Because you didn't really get her referencing her past in the last book because that would have spoiled everything. But with this you have her really being able to live out kind of her traumas of all the horrible things that happened, like losing her first family like Enon and Alabaster and her child, then that is still a horrible wound for her. And then having her next life with her husband killing her son and that being a thing. And this whole thing about losing children and like when she snapped because the one little girl was getting beat up and she was like, no more kids. I can't do this. Like, and just the similarities between her and her daughter too, because her daughter like will go and kill people when she feels that something is wrong. And it's just like all of this and being wrapped up with like Shafa, I think is his name, the guardian, like her daughter's now with him. What are the odds? All of this kind of stuff. I like how they're very wrapped together, but that the both of them feel like they're very different, especially Nasun feeling very different from her mother. And it's it's just so nice. I just I just loved it. And I loved how like Hoa was kind of talking to you as the reader, but you as Asun. And that was like the different narrative twist to this, like the different writing twist, because obviously we had the three POVs in the first book and now we have this kind of perspective in this book. And I really like that as well because he kind of foreshadows things and that's really cool. I just liked all the characters. I liked like their little calm and then how it fell apart again. Like Asun can't have a good life and that's why I can't get attached because she are, she finds another little calm and she's all like happier at least temporarily and then that falls apart and it's just it's just really awful and I can't get too connected. And then when she like her love for Alabaster just like hurts me because you know about their tumultuous relationship and like he is mad at her for killing their child but really saving their child and like all of this stuff. But they love each other so much and she loves him so much and it just hurts me when he died but then came back, right? He's like a stone eater now, right? Like what does that mean? He's back. He's made Alabaster. Yeah? I was really happy about that. I, was, I kind of figured because I was like, why would they want to like take him and why would he be getting turned into stone? Stone Eater. So hopefully he still remembers himself a little bit because I love him as a character. He's so great. And just like seeing him fall apart was really sad. But yeah, they've all just lived such tragic lives and it makes me, up to, makes me upset and I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just don't know what's gonna happen now. I'm glad that Nasun's dad is like finally dead because he's being an asshole and wanting to kill them all the time. Like, <laughs> stop. And that was just really sad and finally she like, you know, she's becoming a really powerful force we reckon with, but now she's on the opposite side from her mom. Like, what? And she doesn't know, like, she doesn't know things, and like, blah, like, 
like your mom loved you. Uh, anyway, so obviously I'm more emotionally connected than I thought I was, but I also don't like cry in this series because it's just like I, I can't. Like I can't get that connected to them because I know bad things are happening. So yeah, I'm very interested to see what happens. I'm also loving the relationship between Hoa and Asun. They love each other a lot, but I don't know like like how like they love each other. They've admitted they love each other. What does that mean? Are they like in love love? Like I don't really know. I don't really understand. But I love their relationship and how protective they are of one another. And like it's just yeah, when he came back I was like, oh like the little baby. And then I was like, of course he's gonna get like regenerated or whatever, because he's one of the most powerful ones. And he came back and he's great. And hopefully they all win the day, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna win the day in a very like horrible way which thank god because you know how i talk about my finales and not pushing it far enough like i have no fears that this finale will push it far enough no fears but i also am a little scared because that means they're probably all gonna die like fiery horrible deaths and it's gonna be really sad so it's why i'm keeping myself at a distance because i know it's gonna happen but i'm excited because like finally take it there you know so i feel like they're all gonna go out in like a very mad max fiery rawr and i'm ready for it so I think I read this series at the perfect time. The next one's coming out very soon, a couple months. So me reading these at this time has been perfect and I'm very excited. I just love what the series does with female characters and basically the entire series being people of color and just, it's, mm, it's amazing. Lovely with culture and everything. It's so good and it's so brutal, which is what a post-apocalyptic fantasy needs to be. I gave it four out of five stars, which I think I mentioned in my review, but in case you didn't watch my review. Four out of five stars. So comment down below and let me know what you thought of the Obelisk Gate. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!